For those on a budget, the DJI NEO looks like one of the most exciting upcoming releases in a while. Currently, the cheapest DJI drone is the DJI Mini 2 SE, which is starting to show its age. The NEO, however, promises to bring some of DJI's latest software features, including AI-powered subject tracking, into a more affordable package. This could make it a strong competitor to other lightweight travel drones like the Hover Air X1, which are perfect for capturing aerial selfies and videos. The always reliable DJI leaker at Jasper Ellens posted what appears to be the official retail packaging on X. This packaging reveals a bunch of juicy details, including AI subject tracking, 4K ultra-stabilized video, and full coverage propeller guards. These features are impressive, especially for a drone that's shaping up to be incredibly lightweight, clocking in at only 135 grams. For context, it's slightly heavier than the 80-gram Rise Tello, which runs on DJI Tech, although it's made by the startup, Rise. So, this makes the Neo DJI's lightest drone to date. The leak also gives us a look at the Flymore combo bundle for the Neo. This package includes three batteries, a charging hub, and some spare props. All for around $329 probably. That price would likely convert to about 320 pounds in the UK, or AU dollar 515 in Australia. If you're looking for something more budget friendly, there's probably a base model without the extra accessories. Now, onto the standout features. The DJI NEO promises a slew of exciting capabilities. Palm takeoff and landing for easy deployment, AI subject tracking to keep your shots focused on your subject, quick shots and multiple control options to suit different user preferences. And of course, it boasts 4K ultra-stabilized video, ensuring your footage is crisp and smooth. The full coverage propeller guards add an extra layer of safety, making it ideal for beginners and for indoor flying. One big question still lingering is whether the DJI NEO will be compatible with FPV headsets like the DJI Goggles 3. To make this possible, the NEO would need to support OcuSync 4 connectivity, but so far, there's no confirmation. If it does, this could open up a world of possibilities for capturing cinematic indoor shots, much like a smaller version of the DJI Avatar 2. Speaking of which, the NEO's design, especially with those propeller guards, seems to nod towards the Avatar series. In summary, the DJI NEO has the potential to appeal to a wide range of users. Whether you're a beginner looking to shoot fun social videos or a more experienced videographer interested in exploring indoor FPV shots, this drone could be one of DJI's most popular releases in recent memory. Stay tuned as we bring you more updates on this exciting new drone. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos.